Welcome to another episode of Nice and Crispy with your host, Crispy Singer. So for today's episode of Nice and Crispy, I'm looking at Payday 2 for the PS4. I heard mixed reviews about this title long before purchasing it, and although it made me question whether or not to play this title in the first place, I caved and got it anyway. I mainly got this game for the multiplayer experience that I hoped it would bring to the table. I initially thought that it looked quite promising, often a twist on the usual corporate first person shooter style of game by challenging players to successfully pull off heists against all odds. And let me tell you, you get pitted against an army almost every time you set off on a heist. At the time of writing this preview, I have only sunk a couple hours into the game, and that's mostly just in how it plays and just seeing what it's all about. I more or less came to this game with little to no knowledge of how the gameplay mechanics work, or the likes, other than knowing that you could plan heists prior to taking on contacts, and that there would be a lot of firefights going down. So to summarise my first impressions of the game so far, I'm going to go over how the first day on the job went. The first mission I attempted went terribly. Was this due to jumping into it too fast and not paying attention? We're just due to relying on two AI controlled characters to help us out. Well, all I can say about this mission was that within seconds of starting, I prematurely donned my mask and started those around me, resulting in me having to unmercifully unload several clips of bullets into these people before they could try and kill me. Obviously this resulted in the police being alerted and making their way to the scene of the crime to try and halt my plans of securing any money or goodies from this place. So as me and my teamwork were busy sneaking through the area, figuring out what was needed in order for us to successfully pull off this heist or at least pull off as successfully as you can after killing every single civilian in the building. As we began busting through doors and lakes to make our way to the safe, we failed to realise the amount of police and SWAT members that were flooding in from what seemed like every angle, and I'm not even kidding when I say this, sometimes we'd be sneakily walking through the walls, scaling the side of a relatively large building, and then hovering at the edge of it, unloading every bullet they had on me. These guys wanted us dead, and they didn't care what sacrifices had to be made to achieve that. Nothing, other than a bullet to the head, was going to stop one of these devils in their pursuit for justice. They didn't care about the laws of physics, they only cared about the law. Even though they were unleashing a war against me and my teammate, little to my knowledge, our trusty accomplice, Hoxton, was having no problem dealing with the situation, as he was literally standing in plain sight, directly in front of multiple groups of officers, and the likes, just chilling, leaning against the wall casually, watching the aftermath of my bloodshed unfold before his very eyes. I still have no idea why Hoxton did this, why he survived, or even more to the point, why nobody tried to kill him. But it is safe to say that I lost all trust in him after this mission. The only AI member of the team who actually did anything relatively useful was Chains, who somehow successfully revived my teammate and then decided to flip into the ground and get stuck, which was obviously incredibly useful in the situation we were faced with. Although, before I knew it, he was back to doing fuck all again. God bless his soul. Somehow, we pulled it off after what felt like forever and fled the scene to never speak of our first day on the job again. Although the AI is pretty terrible on both ends of the stick here, it does provide for some hilarious situations where characters glitch out, disappear, or just become oblivious to me standing directly in front of them, slowly killing them. This is a tough one right now to be fair. Although it is funny to see the enemy AI aimlessly prance around the screen like they have no idea if they should be killing me or running up down the walls for fun, it does prove to get a bit tiresome if a mission has been dragged on for a while and the enemies are just out of control. Not only that, but if you are being attacked by a large group of them and some of them are in a wall shooting at you, then you will die very fast and it does get very annoying. That and sometimes there can be an insane amount of enemies on the screen at once. In levels like the art gallery, I personally struggled to make some of them out due to the darkness of the level. And not only that, but because they are coming in from every single angle possible. And because of that, you never really know where you are safe in the level, unless it's in the safe room in that place. Which, there's only one entrance and exit. But even saying that, these enemies still manage to get in there pretty fucking easy. I think it goes without saying that Payday 2 is a game best played with friends, and even from the experience that I've had up until now, I doubt that I'd play it alone. And that's purely because I expect the game to be less enjoyable that way and a lot of that is down to how difficult it would be having to heavily rely on AI to assist you. Then again, I think it is easy enough to join a level of teams, so going solo would really only ever be a desperate measure. The game does seem like it has potential, and although it may not be visually spectacular, or exactly groundbreaking in what it has to offer, it does provide a multiplayer experience that would be excellent to play with a group of friends that would only be made better due to the hilarity that would ensue from the glitches and the likes. I can't fairly judge the game yet, as I've barely played enough of it in my eyes to provide a fair and thorough review. If you can get it cheap enough, 
and you've got a group of friends to play it with, or you don't mind playing with random teams online, then I definitely recommend picking it up. Thanks for watching this video and if you liked it and like to see more like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later.